We have to be able to understand a building. The easiest way right now, and which is what we're tapping into, is the ability to show the building as a building information model or a 3D representation of that building. We can demonstrate using the tools available to tap into the data within that building information model. We can show the history of that building, not only from a construction point of view, but also a financial point of view, uh, an operations point of view. Everything can be demonstrated about that building. And also on the tax side, we can show the square footage of the building, we can show the occupancy rate of that building, and on the assessment side, we can actually demonstrate the value of that building based on its all those factors, but as well as the material used in that building. If it's a fire department coming to the site, uh, they'll be able to very quickly see the configuration of that building. They'll be able to know where the occupants with uh, disabilities may be, They'll be able to understand where the chemicals are kept in that building. They'll understand where the fire suppression equipment is and understand it visually. The reality is we can provide those building information models to show the inside of the building to whomever wants to access that data. So whether it's Homeland Security or a fire department or a police department, we now have the platform to be able to visually demonstrate that building or simulate it on a computer remotely, wherever it has to be. Because of the interconnection or the interplay between systems in a building, you can't just look at single systems to solve problems. A good example is uh, if you change out all the incandescent bulbs throughout a building, change them to high efficiency fluorescent or LED, that's great for the energy savings. You'll save on your electrical bill but you don't understand sometimes that you've lost the heat from those incandescent bulbs. So in fact, you've gained energy efficiency on your electrical, but you now have to raise the heat in the building to compensate for the loss of heat created by those incandescent bulbs. You have to be able to understand that you'll affect the occupants in that building. The productivity could go up, it could go down, you have to understand how your retrofit will affect those occupants. It's so important and yet so many people don't look at that side of it. It affects the, uh, the building owner's financial position in the building, the, the value of the building. We're, we're looking at it from that point of view and we're helping to save the planet at the same time. We're now able to plug all kinds of information into that building information and we're able to draw out information in all different ways and I know there's ways we haven't even thought of yet as to how these building simulations are going to be used in the future. To us again it's the idea of going from where we saw paper plans to CAD plans going from CAD to BIM is exponential in the potential available for exploiting how existing buildings can be demonstrated.